How are you all doing today? I am Isaac Travis and you are watching IT Creations. Today we are going to be working on our shipping container tiny home. Today what we are going to be doing is we are going to be putting some windows in this shipping container. We are going to get our very first window cut out and put in today. So this is going to be very cool. And what we're going to do before we get cutting in the container is we have a dent that is pretty decent sized in the container that we are going to be pulling out this dent before we get our windows in so it doesn't mess up our windows. So it's kind of ugly, this big dent. I'm gonna show you how to pull this dent out and make it look better. After we get all that done, we're gonna walk around and just kind of pick up brush and get this place looking nice. I already got a little brush pile going right here, but we're gonna build it up and have a pretty decent sized little campfire tonight, crack out the flamethrower and have a little bit of fun. So let's get to it. So this is the dent in the shipping container. As you see, it is a pretty decent sized dent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of steel here and this bolt, I'm gonna put it on the inside facing out like that. And I'm going to bolt it to a chain. I have that chain going across right there. I'm gonna hook that chain to the hitch of my truck with a come along and I'm gonna ratchet it and pull this dent out as you see, I already got a hole drilled for my bolt to go through. So let's see how this thing does. I got the chain all bolted up and I got my come along hooked on there and got it hooked to the hitch on my truck. Let's give it a couple ratchets and see how it does. And it is pulling out nicely. There we go, that looks pretty good. That has pulled out a lot, nice. There we go. I'm gonna take it all off now and we'll start cutting these windows out. This is one of my window frames that I have welded up. It is made out of two inch angle iron. I was going to use two inch square tubing. The square tubing was going to be at least twice the price of the angle iron. So I saved quite a bit of money going with the angle iron and I am quite happy with it. So this is the top of the window frame. As you see, I have the top overlapping right here and I have a little notch on the side so it won't interfere with the hole I cut in the container. And then as you see, I have the sides all facing outwards and i have the bottom all facing outwards and i ended up cutting the angle iron on the bottom too so it won't interfere with the container and i did all of my welds on the back side of the window frame so you won't be able to see any welds and it will just be nice cuts and that is what my window frame looks like and I am very excited to get it up in there on the inside of the container I have my window all marked out let's fire up the generator I do not have power down here yet I'm just using a generator until I get this thing built there we go I have it all marked out right here with a pencil you can kind of see it right around in there my pencil markings but I'm just gonna be cutting this thing out with a little angle grinder I just got a cutting wheel on this thing let's start cutting this window out
Okay, we got our window frame in the hole we cut in the shipping container. I got it all clamped in there with some C clamps. Now we are gonna go around it and weld it in. We got our first window all put in and finished up. It looks really good. You can't really see it right now, but we are going to be putting a few more windows in this container. Make sure to stay tuned. But we got our campfire going over here. It is roaring. It's not very big, but hey, it's a perfect night for a little campfire. So there we go. Burning up a little bit of brush. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my campfire. But as always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We always got something crazy going on on this channel, and you do not want to miss it.